Greetings and salutations, my friends. Well, oh, what a, what a night. I wanted to record a video because um, it was an incredible night. And I know a lot of guys are going to want to know my thoughts. Happy. Let's go with happy. Um, about the game. I'm not going to talk you through the game individually or anything like that. Uh, could you know you probably watched it, you've seen it and stuff. Goals, lots of goals. Four nil, job done. Bish bash bosh. Overturned a three nil win. It's weird. I I've done quite a number of um watch alongs recently, and um, people asked me if I was going to stream the first leg of the Champions League, and I said that you know I don't really want to do the watch alongs for Liverpool games because I'm so sort of into the game. It's going to be hard to keep up with chat and stuff like that, and um. So I did. I sort of did the watch long streams for other game, for other matches, and and then after we got beaten three nil, and then which is it, it's bad enough. It's quite bad to lose three nil away from home, and then obviously with Firmino being out injured, and then Mo Salah being out injured, and the sort of the job was getting more and more difficult. I thought let's live stream it. Because it's a, it's a tiny chance that we're going to get through anyway. Even with our best team, it's a massive long shot. So I thought, let's just do the watch along and live stream it. And we'll all have a bit of a laugh. And, and all I wanted from Liverpool is that they just went for it. Even if they lose 3-2, just, just absolutely go for it. You know, which they just, spoiler alert. Yeah, they they, they, they did that. They're quite, quite good. Um, if... Um, you want to watch the uh, the goal reactions as they went in. Um, you can look on my Twitter at Loki Doki GD. I've, I've tweeted out all the different goals and stuff like that. But it's just, what a night! I am I am mentally drained. There's no football manager videos. So I, I'm going I'm going to bed after this. Um, uh, the football manager will be back tomorrow. It's and I. I we could easily, easily end the season with no trophies. Man City are probably going to win the league because they're playing Brighton. We're playing a very difficult game against Wolves. Brighton have got nothing to play for. The league's probably gone. And you never know with the Champions League, a one-off game against either Tottenham or Ajax, anything could happen. It wouldn't be a surprise to me if Ajax beat us or even Tottenham beat us um, because it's one a one-off game. And so theoretically... We could end the season with zero trophies. And people say, oh, you know, well, usually teams, fans of rival teams say this, but like, oh, would you see this as a, as a letdown of a season? No. <laughs> no. No. At the end of the day, you can only control what you do as a team as Liverpool. They can only... They're going to probably maybe finish the season on 97 points, 95 points, whatever it is. And in most other seasons, they win the league. They Liverpool can't control what Man City do. So if there is another team like Man City that just goes even greater extends and even gets more points, then that's fine. That's that's fair enough. And I've always said I'm quite a sort of pragmatist when it comes to Liverpool. I, I support, I enjoy football. Sorry, dog hair. I support football and I support, I love football and I support Liverpool and cups and titles are amazing and stuff. You know, it's been a long time since Liverpool. I was a very small child last time Liverpool won the league and it would be amazing, of course, to see a league total. But at the end of the day, I enjoy watching football matches and I watch, I enjoy watching Liverpool play football matches and for the 50 odd games of a season, I want to be entertained because at the end of the day, that's what this is. It's it's a sport that we watch and we enjoy because it's entertaining. And for the last, you know, maybe sort of 15, we've had a couple of good years in between and, you know, like the Champions League and all that sort of stuff. But for the last sort of 15 years, it's been pretty OK. You know, there's a lot of teams worse off. Don't get me wrong. You know, it's not like poor us, you know, but. We had many, many years not finishing in the top four and it was a lot of the football was pretty turgid. And at the end of the day, I'm sitting there watching Liverpool for 90 minutes and if it's if it's not exciting, if it's not, even if we were sort of winning games 1-0, I'll 
I want to enjoy watching my team play. And Klopp, even if he never wins a trophy, and this is honest to God, this is not some sort of just because we might not win um, the Champions League or we not might not win the league, I'm saying this. I am so grateful to Jurgen Klopp and what he's done for this team. Because even if we end up winning nothing under his tenure, I get to watch 50 games a season of Liverpool play football. And that is amazing. And we are so fun to watch. And we are so entertaining. And we are so good for the vast majority of things, for the vast majority of games. It is incredible being a Liverpool fan. Even if we never win the league in the next five years and Klopp goes off to whoever, you know, and we end up with Roy Hodgson again or whatever. It's it's an exceptional time and I'm, I feel very grateful to be a Liverpool fan. One of my favourite things about the stream last night is part of the reason maybe I didn't want to do a Liverpool watch long stream is I knew that there would be a, a good percentage of people coming to watch the stream to see a sad, depressed Liverpool fan or an angry Liverpool fan get annoyed because we lost 2-0 or whatever it is and we get knocked out. You know, a Man United fan coming in. And and I totally get that side of football. It's not really for me. Um, I don't mind a bit of banter with people and having a bit of laugh with uh, um, fans from other teams and stuff. But I find a lot of it just just being a dick, really. Um, <clears throat> and, I, and part of me knew that you know, there'd be a good chunk of people that were in there just going... Ah, fucking losers. How do you lose 3 0? Oh, knocked out of the Champions League, blah, blah, blah. And um, it wasn't like that at all. We had maybe one comment the entire time. Even like Man United fans and stuff were, were really generous and kind and supportive. They might hate Liverpool, but they like me and they were happy for me. And that was amazing to see in the stream the other night. And it was, or not the other night, it was like an hour and a half ago. Um, that was really amazing. It was so nice to just get, even from teams that probably didn't, you know, want to want Liverpool to get through to the final, but they were still really happy for me. And it was, and we had such fun in the stream and stuff. It was absolutely bonkers. Had a little cry at one point. Um, yeah, don't usually tear up at football. Got to be honest with that. Normally, I'm like one of those angry celebrities. Like, come on! Like that sort of stuff, as you'll see if you want to watch the goals and everything. But it was amazing. And I am very proud to be a Liverpool fan. I get... Uh, throughout my entire life, I've always had people going, oh, you're not even from Liverpool, you're a glory hunter, and all that sort of shit. I was sort of... I'm, I'm so expectant of that anyway. Um, <clears throat> but I've been... a fan of them for 35 ish years now um i think i feel like i've 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 earned it um <laughs> and uh yeah it's I, I know this is a terrible rubbish video i apologize feel free to leave a dislike on it um but i knew a lot of people would want to hear me talk about it and i wanted to talk about it plus i really can't be asked making a football manager video right now for tomorrow like I can't, or, or editing a video for tomorrow because it's like having sex with a beautiful woman, you know, and you've had a lovely time, you know, you've jizzed everywhere and stuff and then seeing a pair of boobs on the internet. You go, yes, boobs, whatever. Normally, as a man, you're like, oh, boobs. But, you know, you're just like, oh, can be, can't be asked. And that's quite what it feels like. As much as I love Football Manager and adore Football Manager, the thought of just sitting there and editing a video and, and stuff is, is yeah, it's not going to happen tonight. It will, will, normal service will be resumed tomorrow. I think, I think most of you will understand. Let me know your thoughts about the game in the comments below. Um, and also, I just want to say thank you. Like, I haven't done... Uh, I'll probably do a separate video soon. I want to just sort of say thank you to everyone that supports this channel as a whole and and just I'm I every day I realize what a privileged position that I am in. I've not for one second taken it for granted. Um every, like every day even even now, you know, the channel's at 45,000 odd subscribers and I'll look at 
you know, oh, see, all oh, 30 people have joined to, to me today. Like 30 new subscribers have, have come in today. And the way I keep myself grounded by that sort of stuff is I'll go, because, you know, 45,000, 30 is not a very large amount. You, you can understand why it's easy to people take for granted. But I just imagine a group of 30 people <laughs> all coming up to you and going, hey, mate, really like your videos. I've subscribed. And that's that's a large group of people. It's still amazing. But I'll, I'll talk, I want to make a separate video anyway because um, I feel in, very much indebted to you guys. But there, so Liverpool game, done and dusted. As for who I'd like in the next round, I don't care. I think if you, from a perfect, sort of logical reason, if you're just going to go, okay, who's, who are we most likely to be? I'd say Tottenham. Um, Tottenham have always given us, or generally given us a good game in the Premier League, but they are on pretty terrible form at the moment. Harry Kane's out and all that sort of stuff. So for logic reasons, I picked Tottenham and I've got a couple of friends that are Tottenham fans um, and it'd be nice to see them to get for a final. But then if they're playing us, we, I obviously want to destroy them. So, um, and I'd also be really happy if Ajax got through because it's great to see Dutch football doing well. And obviously Ajax are going to get picked apart by the vultures as soon as the season ends. They already are. But it, uh, hopefully that raises the profile of Dutch football back up a little bit. And maybe some of those youngsters in in Holland will go, you know, I'll hang out at this club for another year than, you know, rather than fucking off to one of the other European leagues because it's going places. So hopefully that'll give them a little bit of a bump. So yeah, happy to play any team. Champions League final, two years running, even if we lose. It's been a fucking amazing season. Even if we win absolutely nothing, it has been one of my favourite seasons ever. Right, thank you very much, guys. Thank you for all the support. I'll see you tomorrow for more FM videos. Love you lots. Bye-bye.